Shalom, Shalom, Yashallah, Akatazwam coming at you with a quick video. And we're going to go real in debt on what they're going to look like when Yahweh Shai comes back, man. Right? And first, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Hamashiach, Kwamalaki, Yahweh Shai. And we're going to hop right into it. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 10 and verse 34. Think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. So what's a sword, man? A weapon of war. The Lord did the Lord say did the Lord not say he had a golden girdle upon the paps, man? Right on his stomach, a golden girdle. Right? He is a man of war, man. I say to the Exodus 15 and 3. Which we, we gonna get that. We gotta get that, man. Right? Exodus 15 and 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name, man. The Lord is his name, man. Yahweh Shai is his name, man. Right, he is a man of war. He is ready for war, and he's gonna come back to destroy you, wicked Jake, you niggites, you bumites, you thotites, you drugites. He's gonna, he's gonna utterly destroy you guys, right? And he's utterly gonna destroy these nations. That was written beforehand, right? That was written already, right? But you, wicked Jake, you guys are gonna get it worse. You guys are gonna get it first, right? Let's go to Hebrews, man. Cause you got your Christian say, well, I'm I'm ready for it. I'm ready for him to come. I I I love him. He loves me. And when he comes, I'm gonna hug him. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall into his hands. I'm just gonna pass out, and he's gonna catch me. Right? Hebrews chapter ten and verse thirty one. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. So why are you why are you excited for him to come back, man? Right? Why? What's what's in it for you that he comes back? He's coming to utterly destroy this whole damn place, man. He's gonna judge everybody according to the damn, uh, according to his works, man. Let's get that in in, in in First Peter. This is the book of First Peter, chapter four and verse seventeen. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end of them? It's like it. What shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? Right? So we already know, man. And we're going to get that too. You guys are going to utterly be destroyed, man. You're not keeping the commandments. You are going to die a speedily death. Right? The judgment must begin at the house of God, man. Right? The Lord is going to judge Jake first, man. Right? Mainly the Jake in America. Right, because a, a Babylon the Great is, is finished, man. It is falling and it's not getting back up like an old man, right? America then fell and broke his damn hip. This is Second Chronicles chapter thirteen and verse thir uh, chapter fifteen and verse thirteen. That whosoever will not seek the Lord God of Israel should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. So there it is, man. He said, what shall the end of them that obey not the gospel? Well, here it is. You're going to be put to death. You are going to utterly be destroyed. The Lord is coming back, and he, he he's, he's ready to rip your, your damn spine out your ass, man. The Lord is coming back, and ain't nothing you could do about it but repent and, and follow these damn commandments, or you could kiss your ass goodbye, right? So lock it, man. I'm going to calm down, man. I'm, I'm, I'm excited, man. I'm excited because I'm 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 tired of working. I know brothers out here tired of working. We ready to see this wicked place fall, man. Right? This place welcomes everything that the Most High say that is abomination. They welcome it with open arms, man. Right? Pedophilia, uh, the 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 gay community, the LGB whatever community, they welcome pedoph uh, pedophiles and with open arms, man. Right? This is this place is a disgrace. This place is an abomination in. And it has to be destroyed, man. This is Psalms 104 and verse 3. Who layeth the beams of his chambers and the waters. Who maketh the clouds his chariot. Who walketh upon the wings of the wind. Right, man. So the Lord maketh the... Um, he's coming back with his chariots. He's coming back with his chariots. And he's going to put in work, man. Right? You, Jake, think you out here putting in work. Hitting dry bodies on your own people. Well, the Lord... Ain't nobody got more bodies than the Lord, man. He's coming back... And he's gonna have more bodies, man. He got him. He got ten billion bodies. He gonna get ten billion more bodies, man. This is this is Matthew. What's the matter with you? This is Matthew chapter sixteen and verse twenty-seven. 
for the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with the angels, so like with his angels. And then he shall reward every man according to his works. So the Lord, if you out here gang banging and doing drive-bys and marching with your enemy, you're going to die, man. If you out here eating pork, you're going to die. If you out here being a whoremonger, uh, adulterer, um, being a thotite, a bumite, a niggite, and doing whatever the hell you want, sipping 40, selling crack and smoking crack and all this wicked stuff, man, you sodomites, you're going to die, man. The Lord is going to judge you according to your works, man. Right, or if you out here putting in work, you know, for the Lord, you're gonna get, you're gonna receive the jewels, man. You're gonna receive the king, man. This the book. Let's go to Isaiah, man. Cause before we hit the apocrypha, we gotta, we gotta get in the, um, we gotta get in the scripture, man. We gotta get into the, um, we gotta hit the sword. Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. Like a whirlwind because they spin, man. To render his anger with fury. And his rebukes with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. So the Lord is going to plead with everybody with fire and rebukes of flame, man. Right? He's going to burn this place to hell up, man. It's lucky. And ain't nothing going to save you in that day, man. Verse 17. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the mist. Eating swine's flesh and the abomination in the mouth shall be consumed together, say of the Lord. So in that day when you're starving, man, and you decide you want to eat, you're going to keep eating pork and, oh, I found, you know, I got pork and I'm about to eat. Oh, God bless me. You're going to die, man. All you people that's into Egyptology and you Christians and you dancing and you you wiping your sweat. Oh, hallelujah. Catching the fake Holy Ghost. Man, you passing down church, go home, make some pork chops. You're going to die, man. Right? We're not sugarcoating nothing, man. Right, you are gonna utterly be destroyed. Thus said the Lord. Right. Slocking. And ain't not, nothing is gonna save anybody in that day, man. But your how about shin your outside. Right? So if you're not keeping the commandments, you you could just kiss it all goodbye, right? You might as well just end it right now, because it's it's gonna be done. Zephaniah chapter one and verse eighteen. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. So it don't matter, all of you, um, all of you, um, all of you, um, all of you, Money Mayweather's and 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 um, Tyler Perry's and all of you, um. It don't matter if you sign a $4 million contract and you're going to die, man. If The only thing that can save you in these days is keeping the commandments, right? But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy rid riddance of all them that dwell in the land. So the Lord is going to, boom, just like that, you're dead, man. You're going to be out there barbecuing or in your house playing Xbox and you're going to die, man. Right? The Lord is going to destroy everything just like that, man. In a, in a flick of the wrist, a uh, snap of the fingers, you're dead. A blink of an eye, you're dead, man. He's going to make a speedy riddance of all you wicked Jake, man. He's going to judge you guys first, man. And America's going to be the first one to go. Right. Now let's go into it. It's the book of Second Edris. Talking. Right. So this is the book of Second Edges, chapter thirteen, and verse three. And behold, and lo, the man waxed strong with his with the thousands of heaven. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. And when and whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice. Like, it's like it, like as the earth faileth when it filleth the fire. So whenever the Lord, 
looked around. He's speaking the word of God. Everything was burnt. Everything and everybody was burning the hell up, man. Let's get a preset back in the um in the sword real quick. Malachi chapter four and verse one: For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, right? So it's gonna feel like yo, and that day when the Lord come when He's speaking, your ass is gonna burn up like that cake in the oven, like the pizza you overcooked, man. Ten times, a thousand times hotter than that, man. And all the proud, all the people, you know, all the proud people, all the proud chick, you know, living in the hood, but step out with the, you know, Balenciagas on their feet, new Louis belts every week, and they and they got the Louis the Louis Louis purse hanging from their pocket, man. All you proud chick is gonna is gonna die, man. And all that do wickedly, right? All of you that's in your sins. Man, it don't matter if you're proud of what you got, man. If you in sin and you doing wickedly, the Lord said, shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, save the Lord of hosts, that it shall lead them neither root nor branch. So it's not going to be an apple tree to pick a damn apple, uh, a tree to pick an apple from, man. It's not going to be a vine to eat grapes off of, man. Everything is going to be burnt the hell up, man. You guys are going to receive a speedily death. Right? Not just Jake, though, man. It's going to be the other nations, man. They're all going to utterly be destroyed, man. Let's get that. Zechariah chapter 14 and verse 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Where Jerusalem? Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. So don't that sound like the fire, the heat that he's talking about, man? The day to come that's going to burn as an oven, man? Your eyes are going to be melting, your skin is going to be melting away in your face, and everything is going to be dripping off. You're going to burn the hell up, man. Right? Come on. This the book. This the book of Revelation. This the book of Revelation, chapter nineteen and verse nineteen. It's like it. Yeah, con kind of nineteen and verse nineteen. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth. And their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his armies. So, these other nations are going to be gathering together to make war with Yahweh Shai, man. Right? But the Lord said, you know, when he was walking and everything that, um, let's read that again in 2nd Edges, 2nd Edges 13 and verse 3. And behold, and lo, the man waxed strong with the thousands of heavens. Thousands not, oh, he got 5,000, you know, 144,000. Man, he got millions of angels with him. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were under him. So everything was scared. Everybody was in shock. And when, and whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, they all burned that heard his voice like as the like, so like, like as the earth faileth when it fell of the fire. So, man... Even though these nations were scared that a big black man come out the sky and you can't kill this man. Even though they were scared, man, they still gathered together to make war with him, man. Right? Right, let's get it in the book of Habakkuk. Slocky, Slocky, bear with me. Got the young, the young king with me. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter three and verse four. And his brightness was as the light. He had horns coming out of his head. Slocky, horns coming out of his hand, and there was the hiding of his power. Before him went the pestilence, and burning coals went forth at his feet. 
He stood and measured the, the earth. He behold and drove asunder the nations. And the everlasting mountains were scattered. And the perpetual hills did bow. His ways are everlasting. So the Lord, man, he's coming. His He don't need a sword, a shield, a dagger. He don't need none of that, man. Because the, the, the power is in his voice, man. When he's speaking the word and he's speaking of the law of, uh, of the Lord. Man, it, it, the sparks and tempests and flames of fire come out of his mouth, man. He's looking and people's afraid and as he's speaking, they're burning the hell up, man. He's walking and things is burning as he's walking, man. This is not no Superman. He's not um a damn Spider-Man. He's not Thor. He's not the Hulk. This is Yahweh by Shemiel Shai, man. Yahweh Shai himself, man. Coming back as an angelic being and he's going to come and wipe everything the hell out, man. Right? So let's get it back in Second Edges, man. Second Edges, chapter thirteen and verse eight. And after this, I I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together subdue him were sore afraid, and yet Doris fight. So even though they were afraid, man, they had no choice but to fight. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand nor held sword. Nor any instrument of war, but only I saw that he set, so like the, he sent out his mouth as it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests, and they were all mixed together the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and fell with violence. Upon the multitude which were prepared to fight and burn them up every one, so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude nothing was to be perceived, but only dust and smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was afraid. So when he's given Edris this vision of what's to come, when when he comes back, he's gonna he's not gonna lift up his head, he's not gonna have a sword and shield, and he's not going to be chopping people up. Man, he's coming back, and he's going to only speak the word of God, Yahweh, and everybody's going to burn up, man. What's going to come out of his mouth? Let's read that again. And lo, the violence of the multitude, so like in verse 10, but only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath. And out of his tongue, he cast out sparks and tempests. So all that was coming out as he was speaking the word of uh, of the Most High, Yahweh, man. All that was coming out of his mouth, right? Saki, man, I don't know why my son, he acting up. He trying to stop the word right now, right? I don't know what's on him. I think he want to play. Right, so Salaki. It's the book of Second Edges, chapter, I think it's 11. Yeah, uh, chapter 11 and verse 37. And behold, and beheld, and lo, as it were a ruined lion chased out of the wood, and I saw that he sent out a man's voice unto the eagle. Right, Salaki. So this is the book of Second Edges, chapter eleven and verse thirty seven. And behold, Salaki and beheld, and lo, as it were a roaring lion chased out of the wood, and I saw that he set Salaki sent out a man's voice unto the eagle and said, Hear thou, I will walk, Salaki, I will talk with thee, and the high shall say unto thee, Art not thou it? That remainest of the four beasts, right? Greek, you know, Rome, the Persians, whom I made to reign in my world. So the Lord said, I made you to reign in this world, man. Right? I I gave you the power to reign. He said, I gave you the power to reign. Salakia. Um whom I made to reign in my world, that the end of their times might come through them. And the fourth came and overcame all the beasts that were past. Right, Babylon, you know, um, if you, you know, y'all gotta study up on that. 
right? But he's just talking about the other nations that you know uh, that that um, that Esau rained down and destroyed. Right, so like and and the fourth came and overcame all the beasts that were past and had power over the world with great fearfulness and over the whole compass of the earth with much wicked oppression, right? With the slavery, man, right? Though Esau run the whole damn world, how you start from the Caucasus Mountains and end up all the way to what, what we call now the United States, man, right? You in Canada, you got all this land, man. You you in Africa taking the Hamites, the Hamites, um, the Hamites gold and the oil and, and making them work for damn near free, right? So they are oppressing every single nation. And so long time dwelt upon the earth with the seed. With the seed, man. Making everybody worship on, you know, Christopher Columbus Day and, you know, and Thanksgiving. Man, that's the seed, man. Right? Talking, oh, they're the terrorists. They're the terrorists. They're the evil. They're the evil. Right? Pointing a finger at everybody when the finger should be pointing at them. They got the most cruel, evil, dirty history, man. These are dirty devils. For the earth has thou not judged with truth, for thou hast afflicted the meek, we're the meek. Thou hast hurt the peaceable, that's us. Thou hast loved liars and destroyed the dwellings of them that brought forth fruit, that's us. And has cast down the walls of such as did thee no harm, that's us. Therefore is thy wrongful Suck it. Therefore is thy wrongful dealing come up unto the highest, and thy pride unto the mighty. The highest also hath looked upon the proud times, and behold, they are ended, and his abominations are fulfilled. And therefore appear no more, thou eagle, nor thy horrible wings, nor thy wicked feathers, nor thy malicious heads, nor thy hurtful claws, nor all thy vain body. That all the earth may be refreshed, that may return, being delivered from thy violence, and that she may hope for the judgment and mercy of him that made her. Right, man. So that that's going into the other nations, man. The um, you know, the the Britain, the UK, the you know, everybody that helps the United States. Those are the the um, the hurtful heads, the the um, the claws, right? The claws being, you know, their their military force. Well. Uh, he said, Thou eagle, nor thy horrible wings, nor thy wicked feathers, nor thy malicious heads. Right? So that's just going into the other nations that helped Babylon the Great. Right? So lucky. And that was what? Second Edris 11 and verse 37. Right? Real quick, let me get something in Isaiah. Just the book of Isaiah. Chapter... 47 and verse 3 thy nakedness shall be uncovered yeah thy shame shall be seen i will take vengeance and i will not meet thee as a man so as we read before the lord is going to be walking and he's going to be burning everything up he's going to be talking and people are going to burn the hell up so the lord said i will not meet thee as a man right Right, so the Lord said he's not going to meet thee as a man. He's not going to meet Babylon as a man, right? He's not going to come down and you're not going to get get a chance to crucify him again, right? All that stuff is, that's that's done for, man, right? All that stuff is, is out the damn window. Right? Slaki, I don't know if I got this already. But this is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 3, and verse 4. And his brightness was as the light, and he had horns coming out of his head, and there was the hiding of his power. Before him went the pestilence, burning, and burning coals went forth at his feet. So there you go, man. He's going to be walking down, and he's going to be burning everything up, man. Right? Let's get Second Edges 13 and verse 29. Let me make sure I got all the other ones I got. Yeah, come. On. Then we're gonna go back to that second address eleven. Just real quick. Second address chapter thirteen. Um thirteen and verse twenty-nine. 
time. Verse 29. Behold, the days come when the Most High will begin to deliver them that are upon the earth, and it, and he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. So everybody's going to be astounded. Oh, what's going on? And one shall undertake to fight against another, one city against another, one place against another, one people against another, and one realm against another. At that, at the time shall be when these things shall come to pass, and a sign shall happen which I showed thee before, and then shall my son be declared, whom thou sawest as a man ascending. And when all people hear his voice, every man shall in their own land leave the battle they have one against another, and an innumerable multitude shall be gathered together as thou sawest them, willing to come and over like an end to overcome him by fighting. But he shall stand upon the top of the Mount Zion. And Zion shall come and shall be showed to all men being prepared and build like a like like, a, like as thou sawest the hill graven with thou hands. And this my son shall rebuke the wicked inventions of those nations which for their wicked life are falling to the tempest. So he's going to be burning everything up, man. All your tanks, all your planes, all your, your nukes that you're trying to throw at him. All that. He's going to burn everything up. And shall lay before them their evil thoughts and the torments wherewith they shall begin to be tormented, which are like unto a flame. And he shall destroy them without labor by the law, which is like unto me. So he's going to destroy them without labor, man. Right? He's going to destroy these nations without a shadow of a doubt. He's not even going to break a sweat. He's just going to be walking. Everything's going to be burning. He's going to be speaking the law. He's going to be speaking this right here, man. Right? He's going to be speaking the same words we're speaking out. Hey, don't break the Sabbath. You're going to be put to death. Boom. They're going to be put to death. You know, he, you eat pork, put to death. Right? Bro, um, not wearing fringes, you're going to be put to death. Right? He's just going to be speaking the law. And everything's going to be burning the hell up, man. Right? Let's go back to 11 real quick. 11 in verse 46. This is Second Andrew chapter 11 verse 46. That all the earth may be refreshed and may return being delivered from thy violence. So after Edom and all these nations destroyed, right? The earth is going to be refreshed. And, and that she may hope for the judgment and mercy of him that made her. Right, so there, the earth is gonna have mercy, man, from from the Lord that 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 made him finally have mercy and peace, man, from Esau these, and these damn devils that want to have sex with the animals, right? Rape the land, rape the people in the land, right? Slaughter the animals, right? Go hunting for fun, right? All that stuff is is gonna be is gonna finally end, man. We're gonna get our animals that Esau made extinct, right? Revelation chapter twenty one and verse. In verse 2, And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven, saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with them, and he will dwell with them, and he shall be hit, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death neither sorrow nor crying neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away right and he that sat upon the throne said behold I make all things new and he said unto me, Right, for these words are true and faithful. So there we go, man. So the Lord is going to destroy these nations, right? And he's going to redeem us. And we're going to be no more crying, no more tears, no more pain. And we're going to be, we're finally going to have redemption on these nations, man. They're going to be our slaves. And we're going to live forever and ever and ever and enjoy the kingdom forever and ever, man. Right? Um, I hope y'all take, you know, take this. And I hope y'all like the video, man. Right, sorry for the little distractions here and there, you know, but Kwame Asha'Allah, stay strong, 
I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashima Mashiach, Kwamalaki Yahweh Shai, Shalomon.